This is Twit. It's actually smart of Microsoft to say we're we're going to help you with hybrid work because it is challenging for a business. Well, everybody's had to handle this. They yeah. were struggling yeah. with it. We're, yeah. we're doing hybrid too. Some of us are here. Yeah. Some of us are still at home. So, did Microsoft offer anything of value, uh, Daniel? No. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, Thanks yeah. a lot. <laughs> well, there it is. Yeah, probably one of the one Thank of the you more for joining interesting us, everyone. things I. <laughs> One of the more interesting things I think they did was um, in Windows 11, they're building in, like if you see my background, it's blurred, right? I'm yeah. using uh, NVIDIA GeForce, uh, specifically NVIDIA Broadcast is uh, blurring so you need my background. a lot of so hardware AI. to do that. And actually, he's doing it very well. Like right. Your hair, I don't see anything. It's a, we call it a key in broadcasting. It's a yeah. very, very good key. Yeah. Much better than you get from Zoom yeah. or Google Meet or any right. of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So this is, like, I consider it's the top of the line, but yeah, you, you need a powerful RTX GPU to do it. So what they're doing in Windows 11 is they're building in the ability to automatically blur your background in video just in the operating system itself. It does rely on an NPU to be present, which you know we see a lot of in the ARM processors, although Intel is, of course, building out this technology as well. Uh, you can also do things with you know the voice and amplify the voice when someone's talking, including if they're walking away from the microphone or moving. It'll keep the audio level. Um, and so you're seeing like a lot of the smart technology. It, 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 TechCrunch had this very sarcastic. I thought it was kind of dumb. But like right now, like I'm looking at the camera to make eye contact. Oh, and I, we all know this. I know where you're going. I hate yeah. this. So, AI eye adjustment. Right. Ugh. And so it's technically not new, right? Apple's been doing it for a while. The Surface Pro X by Microsoft has had this feature too for the last two years. So on Skype, it'll do it. It's actually very subtle. Do you um, have it I on know, right like, now? Like, I don't have it because oh. I don't have the, it's not set up in, on this PC to do it. Okay. Um, but with uh, the Surface Pro X, you can do it on there. Uh, but it's a very subtle thing. So I think TechCrunch is kind of making a big deal about this, saying it looks unnatural. Uh, when I've used it, I mean, it, it was it was almost it, it didn't look unnatural at all. In fact, it was almost hard to see the difference. It was it was a very subtle change. But I think that technology, it's just like anything else. It, even if it does look weird at first, just some tweaking will adjust that. But I think this is a it, it's a it's a pain to you want to look at your screen. But then you get the camera yeah, above it. And yeah. so they're trying to just rectify As long as it's that, not it's creepy. a little bit more natural. What I've right. seen looks a little, there's something off. Everyone looks like Marty Feldman. Yeah. <laughs> so like, Got Marty. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. Feldman's eyes. So tell me but what. That's you, like everything, right? That's that's like CGI too, right? CGI yeah, always, yeah. was off. Always but now it's getting to this point where. Uncanny you know, Valley, yeah. What, so tell me right. again what you're using. Because we're on Zoom. But you're using something yep. to pre-process the video from NVIDIA. What's it called? Yeah, I'm actually, well, so the camera I'm using is actually a new one. It's called Lumina, uh, which is a kind of a startup. I think they're out of Japan, I want to say. It's really interesting. It looks camera. really good. It's the first. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's the first camera that I consider that could actually beat the Brio 4K by Logitech, which has been the long running champ. But so I'm running, and they actually do their own blurring ability, which I, I have it enabled because, yeah, so this is running through the computer, and I have a RTX. 3080 GPU on here. And you just install, there's a free app NVIDIA puts out called NVIDIA Broadcast. You just download it to your computer. You technically can get away around it. There's like a way to get around the GPU requirement even. Uh, it'll probably use your CPU more, of course. But what it's using, it's, it uses the GPU and it uses it to, um, it can blur the background. It, it's also doing my voice. So if I clap or- Oh or yeah, into it dumped mic, that out. Yeah, so oh, wow. and I, I don't even have it maxed out. I don't have it maxed out even. Um, when my my senior cat used to always come in on the podcast, and she would just scream her head off, but you never would hear it. I would hear wow. it. Wow. Um, so it's using AI on the fly to do this. And they keep improving it, and they can do some auto tracking and all this other kind of stuff. And that's where you're seeing a lot of this, like. Uh, engineering going into uh, computers. Lenovo has a brand new laptop, the Yoga Nine I. It's a 14 inch laptop, and it has a button, a physical button on the deck that you could hit that will blur your background in any video app. So it doesn't, so you can just be in any call and you can just hit a button and it will just blur your background on. This is the best key so I've ever seen done in real time on a computer, though. Yeah, this it's really, really good. Doesn't it look yeah. good? It looks great. Yeah. So that's, that's so that's I have a 3080 at home, so I could yep. use the NVIDIA broadcast on that with my Zoom yep. calls. I'm going to blow people away. Yeah. Um, wow, that's cool. And that's if you have an NVIDIA card, that's a free download NVIDIA broadcast. Yeah, it's, a, it's just a free app. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I feel and like people like hacked it so you don't. Because it looks so good. 
It does look yeah. good. And yeah, now I'm going to have to look at the Lumina as well, which is only $199. It's less than the Brio. Yes. So I'm going to have to take yep. a look at that as well. Wow. It's, they're really interesting because they're, they're focusing. So the hardware is very good, but the software, it's almost like a Tesla. We, you know, I, I own a Tesla. I'm sure some of you guys do too. But like when you bought the Tesla, like the way it evolved over two to three years through the software updates is what's really made it an interesting car. This is the same thing going on with this camera. They're focusing a lot on the software and AI, and they're going to be tweaking a lot over it for the next couple of months and years and stuff like that, where they're really going to kind of get the most out of it, which is really where cameras and optics are going, right? It, it is the power of AI that's really going to improve these things. The only thing um, I would say, and I noticed this when you first came on, it's a, it's a little cooler than normal. We, yes. Usually my, I'm, I'm warmer. I'm overriding that. Oh, you're overriding yeah, that. I'm okay. overriding that. So okay. I could actually put it onto, I can change it right now and put it on scene and it'll auto adjust. So Dan uh, Rubino himself is cooler than He's normal. a cool He's cat. He's cooler. Yes. He's a cool. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm even noticing on the, their website that the video that they show on the website is considerably cooler. That's the video on the left than the video from the Sony, which I think actually looks more realistic. So it's funny yeah. that they're putting yeah, that Yeah, they, they give you full controls over all that stuff, yeah. which is kind of nice. It's all sliders. Yeah, so. interesting. Oh, and it has active calibration. Look, she's holding up a card, and it's calibrating. That's kind of cool, too. Look at this. Watch oh, this. I should try that. I actually this do have cool. a... Uh, Does it come with a card, or do you just have a grayscale? or a, No, I don't, I don't think so. But they're they're a cool company. Like, yeah, so I already changed. So this is... When I put it on... Oh, that looks great. Scene, you can see it right That's there. 10 times better. Yeah. Go back to the other one. What was that? <laughs> I forgot which. So oh, yeah, yeah. Delay, Too many settings. He doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The warmer one was, but, uh, was, yeah, it's, was better. But that's just me. Go, that's, that's just me. 